This is Mark Dell with Android Spin, and this review is for Spirit by Marco Mazzoli and Jackal. Another dual thumbstick shooter? No, Spirit is more like a non thumbstick not shooter. Appearances can be deceiving, and looking at any screenshot of Spirit, and you mistakenly peg it as a Geometry Wars clone. But while the whole art style of Spirit owes Geometry Wars just about everything, its complete lack of any shooting mechanic sets it apart. There are no thumbsticks in Spirit, so to move around you just press down anywhere on the screen and just drag around from there. This form of relative control takes some getting used to, but with a little practice it can be way more powerful than direct control, as you gradually learn to keep your fingers out the way of the action. While the controls do work exceptionally well, they can be imprecise at high speeds, and this forms a large part of the challenge as the faster you go, the more you stand to gain. Enemies are defeated by circling around them with the trail that you leave behind. The trouble is that the trail you leave doesn't last for long, so if you move slowly, you'll only get the chance to capture a small area, move too fast, and you run the risk of colliding with something on the screen. This balance of risk and reward makes a big part of the gameplay, and you'll want to circle as many enemies on the screen at once as you can to get a higher score. Getting a higher score than your previous is really all you have to shoot for here. There's no unlocks, goals, or progress, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it would have been nice if there was at least some form of score sharing between devices using open feint or score loop. There's a variety of enemies to see, each with very different characteristics which spawn randomly every game, so you'll occasionally be pulling out larger scores simply due to the luck of the draw. Some foes are stationary and track you with ranged attacks, whereas others might move randomly or accelerate faster as you move. There's definitely some unique behaviours here, and you'll want to stop and think before you move in too close. There's a trio of game modes to choose from, two of which are regular modes on different difficulty levels. The other, however, removes your ability to create your own vortexes, and has you rely on touching floating ones to trigger them before you become overwhelmed with the enemies on the screen. Much like the Geometry Wars games, the graphics are fantastically striking, with vector-based style and plenty of fluidity and glow. The grid around you contorts as you move, and vortexes are created when you touch your trail, which sucks enemies into the abyss. The visual style is accompanied by some comparatively mellow music, as well as some sound effects that again sound as if they're straight out of Geometry Wars. Whether you're on a tablet or on a phone, Spirit is way more unique than it might first seem. And while it doesn't have much of a hook to keep you returning beyond the gameplay itself, it's gameplay worth returning to. 